Tom Cruise went from couch jumping madman to king of Hollywood. But is it all an illusion? People discredit him because of the Scientology. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist. Serious allegations against this church splitting up families. He Star. is f but he is awesome. But nobody knows what really happened with Nicole Kidman. I was running from my life. Over two decades later, people are still looking for answers. Was it a fairy tale or was it all in our heads? All I will say is it's been awful. We did some digging and found some details you won't believe. Mom wanted to tap her phone to know exactly who she was talking to. <laughs> True? Not true. Oh, that's ridiculous. I arranged to get a private investigator to facilitate the breakup. I didn't realize that they were going to these lengths. Were you surprised? I lived in fear of something bad happening to me. Did Nicole ever fight back? We have two children. My job now is to protect them. You have to break that dynamic to turn them against their mother. The disappointment, the pain, the loss that you go through. I'd read that she'd been pushed out of the children's lives. Why exactly was she so dangerous? I mean, I think you really have to ask Tom that question. This is the real life story behind the tabloids. I remember walking in, I remember being so nervous and seeing Tom Cruise drive up in a Porsche and he got out of the car and walked through and I was like, oh, it obviously changed my life extraordinarily. And, and falling in love on the set. The rest is history. <laughs> I've heard the story. What story? Tom and Nicole's love story and how it all blew up. Isn't Nicole happily married now? Why are we still talking about this? Well, this story is so undercovered that we really had to dig deep, but we found some explosive reports that will really change the way that you think about their breakup. When Nicole met Tom, her world completely turned upside down. She told Vanity Fair, I fell passionately in love. My whole plan in terms of what I wanted for my life, I was like, forget it. This is it. I was consumed by it, willingly. It's really my first major relationship. She lost herself in the relationship and did whatever she could to be with Tom at all times. Everyone said to me, you're too young to get married. And I, of course, being willful and stubborn, went, no, I'm in love, I'm getting married. Nicole was completely obsessed with Tom, but he had another obsession. Tom Cruise, the poster boy for Scientology. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist. It's something that you have to earn because Scientologist does has the ability to create new and better realities. So what really is Scientology? Some call it a manipulative cult. Others say it's a well-established religion. Since its inception in the 1950s, the Church of Scientology has rarely been far from controversy. Was Nicole a Scientologist? Nick loved me. My feeling is that she became involved because she loved me and I never forced it on her. Nicole was so in love with Tom and was desperate to start a family. I always had very yeah. strong maternal instincts actually, like ever since I was a teenager I wanted to have a baby. But after she suffered both a miscarriage and an ectopic pregnancy, they turned to adoption. Despite the tabloids constantly hounding them, it only made them stronger. Nicole told Vanity Fair, you're being watched and scrutinized. But it's also deeply romantic because it feels like you're in it together, as if you're in a cocoon and you become very dependent on each other. And when they spent a year in England shooting a movie together, Tom and Nicole seemed closer than ever. Working as a married couple together, there's an intimacy. You are connected in work and in your private life. To share that experience together is something very special. They were unbreakable. But look at this clip from the same interview. It's, it was interesting, actually, and this was a... Uh, anyway, I'm talking too much. You talk. <laughs> Jan and Tom talk a bit, please. <laughs> uh, all right. You can tell he has a huge ego, and she's just constantly there to keep it intact. Exactly. So she later said, I would always cower in the background. I felt like it was my job to put on a beautiful dress and to be seen and not heard. I was still very much cocooned. But what Tom did next shattered her cocoon. I was in a lot of pain. Your whole life collapses around you. Divorce is a really tough thing to go through, sure. and it leaves you shaken, and, and your whole foundation is sort of a, a mess. And you've got to somehow learn to be alone, and that was not what I was good at. And what many people didn't know is that this wasn't the only loss she was going through. While Tom had filed for divorce, she had just suffered another miscarriage. And the media was pressing for answers. 
Were you surprised? Because, you know, there have been lots of media reports that you didn't even know it was going to happen. Because did you so, think you were always going to be married? Yeah, it was a, it was a real marriage. I mean, there was enormous love. Mm -hmm. And still is. And still is. Oh, man. Oh, bro. Oh, come on. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> I'm in a position where if I start to answer any of the stuff, then there's we have two children who are eight and six, yeah. who are the most important things to us. Yeah. As a mother, my job now is to protect them, protect them from anything or any scrutiny that they're gonna get. But the tabloids were spreading rumors that Nicole's relationship with their kids was falling apart. So I'd read that she'd been pushed out of the children's lives. <laughs> that's what I read, Tom. I know. So, that's true, true, not true. Oh, that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And although Tom denied the rumors, Nicole opened up to GMTV saying, my kids don't call me mommy. They don't even call me mom. They call me Nicole, which I hate, and I tell them off for it. So what changed? What could possibly get between her and her own kids? Well, Tom and Nicole never really explained it, but we dug into a documentary that featured ex-Scientologists. Emmy award-winning documentary Going Clear reveals frightful details about Tom and Nicole's relationship. He had really fallen for her. They got married, and this posed a dilemma for the church. Why exactly was she so dangerous? She really got him to drift away from the church, and I was assigned to um, get him back in. And I was to facilitate the breakup with Nicole Kidman. How'd you do that? Hiring investigators to investigate Nicole. Tom wanted to know exactly who she was talking to, and so he wanted to tap her phone. So I arranged to get a private investigator who physically installed a wiretap on her home. Through his lawyer, Tom did deny the allegations of wiretapping. The church then turned its attention to their adopted children to turn them against their mother and make sure that the custody went to Tom. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't realize that they were going to these lengths. Did Nicole ever fight back? Well, despite everything, she won shared custody of the kids. After the divorce, Nicole threw herself into her own work. I was uh, running from my life at that time. I wasn't able to handle the reality of my life. And as an actor, you have this wonderful thing where you can go and get lost in somebody else's life. I shot the hours directly after my marriage fell apart. And so actually a waitress in a restaurant that I'd gone into, she came up just quietly actually when she was bringing the check and she just said to me, I've seen you through the last few years and you haven't looked happy. It's so good because you, you look happy. And these pictures of her coming out of the attorney's office after the divorce was finalized showed just how happy she was. Even though she'd suffered two miscarriages, a painful divorce, Scientology and constant scrutiny, Nicole fought her way to the top and won her first Oscar for the hours. And soon after, she met country singer Keith Urban. We was, we was sitting in this park bench, and I said to her, I said, how's your heart? But she said, it's open. And I'm just so glad to have met my mate, the person that protects me and loves me. OK, so now she's with Keith, and she has her family. But what's the relationship like with her other two adopted children? Well, we don't know for sure, but she seems very supportive of them. In 2018, she told Who magazine, I know 150% that I would give up my life for my children because it's what my purpose is. They are able to make their own decisions. And as a mother, it's my job to love them. I'm just a girl who's been put into a pretty extraordinary situations at time and I'm kind of navigating my way through. And I fall over and make mistakes, pick myself back up and hope for the best. We often feel like happiness comes with being with someone, but truly the happiness came from being alone and figuring herself out. She learned how to live for herself instead of standing in the shadow of her partner. 